Hi everyone, this is Dr. Victoria Scarwell speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in here, Massachusetts. So today I'm going to work with a deck that I have actually worked with before, but not exactly. Uh, it's the Soul Cards by Deborah Koff Chapin, and I did do this uh, using her first deck of cards, the Soul Cards. This is her second deck, and uh, there's no book that goes with this to tell you what the cards mean. So this is a totally sort of like right brain experience. And so in March, we find ourselves in, quite frankly, a very right brain, right brained place. We have um, the majority of the time the sun is in Pisces. Uh, of course, um, we have Neptune in Pisces, which is, which is there for 14 years. And, uh, we're in a 12-3 vibration um, universal year, which is connected to the hanged man, the, so the planet Neptune, and the sign of Pisces. And in March, we have a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. So, for most, from like the 3rd to the 27th, or the 4th to the 27th, uh, we have a new moon in Pisces. So there's a lot of Pisces energy. So I thought this would be fun. And uh, I've done readings on um, what March is going to be like for us, what March is going to be like for Trump. And if you don't mind, I want to use these cards and ask sort of a similar question. But because I've already asked about us and I've asked about Trump, if my uh, folks from um, the other parts of the world besides the United States don't mind, I'm going to just see... I'm going to pick a couple of cards on the United States in March and see what comes up. This is going to be a great uh, experiment. Mind you, this is the third time I've tried to do this, and uh, hopefully this time it works. <laughs> That's a very Pisces, uh, Mercury retrograde thing to happen. Of course, Mercury's not even retrograde yet, but it is for all intents and purposes standing still, or as still as anything stands in Pisces. It'll float around a little bit. Okay, so I am going to, I, I shuffled and I cut them in three and we're, I'm just going to pick the cards off the top of the three piles. So let's see. <laughs> okay, this is the first card that we see. Um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. Okay, so this is the first card. Let's see what the second card is. Okay. We have this card. And the third card. Ah, look at this. Okay. All right, so these are the three cards that have come up for the United States in March. All right, so let's look at this first card. Uh, do you feel like this? So here we have this person screaming, and his mouth is so large. Um, oh, so first of all, this person is encased in a, um, it looks like an egg, right? Encased in some sort of, um, it's constrained. Okay, this could be a baby. Oh, look, here comes my cat, just to complicate things. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Oh, he's, you like these cards? All right. Sorry about this. Charlie, honey, you can't be up here. So this is what America feels like right now. <laughs> Screaming. Is anybody hearing us? How much more of this can we take? <laughs> okay. Um, it's interesting because his mouth is open so big, it almost looks as if um, the, you could see the universe and the scream. And uh, the hands, it's interesting because the hands are in a position where it's like, enough, enough, honey, honey please, please. Um, so sorry about the cat. All right. Thank you, honey. My, 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 my husband just took the cat away for a little bit. So this is, the, this is America, this is how we're feeling, yeah? Enough is enough, how much more can we take in our own little bubble of craziness? Okay. So the next card that comes up 
is this card right here. And here we have a, an older man, and he's holding in his hand um, a flame. Okay, and he's looking into the flame. Um, and this is really about. This is kind of the hermit card, if 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 I would see it, and so this is about. looking within, examining the wisdom, looking, um, seeing it as a transformational experience. He has his hand over his heart, interestingly enough. And he's holding this with his, it seems like his left hand. The left hand being the, the side of the feminine. So utilizing your own intuition, your own inner light. Uh, that comes from where he has his hand on his heart, from your heart. Uh, so this is about, um, this almost looks like a baby, right? This is a baby, but this is a mature, mature man. And so there is this maturing process, perhaps, that we're going through in March. This is um, about looking within for your wisdom. Okay. And then this is the last card. And here we have an angel holding the flame. The flame is bigger. The angel seems to be feminine. She has some uh, wings there. And so this to me, this whole process seems like the process of, and there we go, can you see that? Um, starting with this screaming child person. <laughs> enough is enough. Um, but somehow, a breaking free from um, the the constraint, seeing it from a, a broader perspective, and then taking that wisdom and sharing it with the world. We have an angel here with a bigger flame and wings to go around the world, and so this is really a process of breaking out of, breaking free from, looking within for, and spreading the word, the wisdom, and the love. Wow, that was interesting. It was fun, right? Okay. It was fun because of the cards. It was fun because of the cat. And it's fun to just sort of use your own intuition. So I'm just going to leave these where you can see them and take a look at them. If you have anything you want to say about these cards uh, yourself, any, any insights, you can put them below and uh, we can discuss it if you like. Have a great day. This was a lot of fun. I'll do it again. Bye.